you leave those big gaps, you will see mold. I guarantee that. And we've seen it and you've seen the black chunks and it's like freaking out why it's like that. <laughs>
you know, two. There's nothing running in there. Actually, I'll go to our 12 inch because we're halfway through that pile and there's no mold. Do we get it on the bottom? That's the other comment. This, you can see, this was recycled asphalt and it is basically pavement. You can see there's a bit of loose stuff, of course. It's, you know, it's not perfect. <clears throat> that helps keep it. In the water, it does, you know, we get the few pieces here that have a bit of black on it. Not very many. And, and when we're pulling them out, we're loading. If we notice them, we pull them out, we separate them, toss them off. The boss will burn that in the winter. We do care. We do care what our wood looks like. Um... I'm going to switch sides here with you just because of the sun. So we do care. Um, here's another. You can see, see how high that is in this one. We're just put, we've doing, we're doing this right now, so we're not too concerned about it. We're pulling all this wood out now. So this stuff's going out as we're putting it up. It's all ash. It was all dead standing ash, so it's fairly dry. So we're not super worried about it, but... You can see, there's the other one. Nice and tight. And same within these bottoms. You get them too close, that's the same as these Vs when you do a separate cone. If you don't have them tight, or you keep them separated like that, there's just a little bit on the bottom. That will keep your mold away. And this is our bucket we use. We put a back on it. I've seen guys that even put little kind of sides on here to stop it from coming out the side, but that's what we use and it works pretty good. This is our maple and beech and ironwood. This is stuff we put up in the spring. We've dug in it a bit. No black stuff yet. We're just on the outside of the pile. You know, nothing black. No mold. And you can see, all nice and tight here. All that water can shed off the side here. This is how they did it back in the day. You know, they put hay up, they'd stook it. This is what they do, they make, so it can go off the side. The pyramids in Egypt, why are they like that? So the rain goes off. Okay, I may be exaggerating on that because I don't think it rains very often there. You get what I'm saying. Let's go check our 12 inch. <clears throat> and this has been up since the spring as well. Uh, and you'll see we had a row of cones. So these, there's a set there, set here, set there. You can see these middles. Are you here? Right here, we're probably halfway through these piles. You can see this, the top's already coming down. You'd see something here. I get it's ash and dry, but you're not gonna get mold in here. <clears throat> Cause how tight these are. Same with this one, it's falling down a bit, but you can see there's nothing. Yeah, and this would be another, would have been another seam kind of right up in here. I see nothing. We do get, I'm not being honest with you, this is not as nice over here. This doesn't have the recycled asphalt treatment over here. This is kind of fill and dirt. You got to be a little bit more careful picking up this stuff and just making sure you're getting that all out. Um, we're waiting for some nicer weather. We'll dig that out and we got some stuff left over there, recycled asphalt to put down. If you're putting it down, just throwing it down isn't perfect. You gotta, from what I've been told and what I've seen in our yard, you need heat and compaction on recycled asphalt. The fresher it is, the better it is. You can get it down, it's warm out and compact it. 
whether you can get a decent sized roller in here and get it packed. Um, you see here, the boss threw down some here. We had a little bit of a hole. And this, all we did, he threw it down. It was just kind of like a little strip here that was really low. High. Going back here, that's where log piles go for the log truck. And just the log truck running over this. Like that's... Yeah, there's some loose stuff on top, but that started hard packing right there. Yeah, it's got it's got 120,000 pounds going over when he's coming in loaded or so. But that's packed. You need compaction and heat for it to work best. Paving. Hey, you know, if you got some endless funds and you want to pave or put concrete down, go for it. Because that will work real awesome picking up. It will really help. But, yeah. I'm not trying to... In this video, I'm not trying to tell people what to do or how to do it. However you want to do it, it's up to you. It's your choice. If you want to keep on stacking, I got good friends in this YouTube community. They stack all by hand. And they're going to continue to stack. And that's good. They're selling a quality product. And that's the way they advertise it. And that's the way it's going out. Other people, you know, you're short on room or you're up in your thing. You know, you see all these big producers. They're putting up 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000 cord a year. They're not stacking it. None that I know that are doing that amount processed are stacking it. They're putting it up in cones or into big piles. Um, if you're putting real big piles and you got the equipment to do it, flipping it, if you got a big payload or an excavator to flip it, yeah, that helps. That helps a lot. We don't, but this is how we do it, and we got lots of happy customers. So, hope that answers your questions. A mold. Um, if you get a real wet year, it's you're still probably going to get some, and there, there's nothing you can do about it. It's you know this year has been a bit dry for us. That's where it's going to, when we get those torrential downpours, that's where it's going to be. And we've had them, and I don't see any of that mold. You leave those big gaps, you will see mold. I guarantee that. And we've seen it, and you've seen the black chunks, and it's, like, freaking out why it's like that. But we figured out what causes it, and I'm passing it on to you. So, if you want to put them on buck cones, go for it. Keep them tight together. That's what you want. Keep them tight. But anyway, guys, again, thanks for watching. Hope this helps some of you out and answers some of your questions. And we'll see you on the next one. Thanks, guys.